Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, this says, Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Because we're at the point in the chapter where Jesus is warning the apostle Peter and all the disciples, you know, and, and Peter specifically saying, you know, hey, you know, you say you're not going to, you say you're going to be here with me. And, and Peter very vociferously is saying like, look, though everyone else, please, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be right here. If I have to die with you, I will be with you at your side. And he's very vehement about just telling uh, Jesus Christ that like, I will not leave. I am with you to the end. And Jesus gives him the warning saying no. And actually not just a warning, but tells him you are going to deny me. He says, before the cock crows thrice, you're going to deny me. You're going to deny that you even know me. And you're, you're standing here saying how, you know, oh, I'm never going to be offended in you. And we need to take heed to that. We need to look to that. And I mentioned this last week. Again, I don't want to re-preach too much, but Peter was a really great guy. I mean, he was a really godly person. He was a great disciple. He was a great man of God. He, he did a lot for the Lord. And he's someone who, you know, in the moment, he's saying the right thing. I mean, it's not like he's saying the wrong thing. He just didn't realize and consider, you know, what might happen. And Jesus was, was warning him and telling him, no, you're actually going to deny me. And we need to, to just take heed to ourselves lest we fall so that we don't overspeak, we don't overreach, we can be humble, we can do what we're supposed to do without uh, overextending ourselves. Now, obviously, the spirit was right of, of wanting to, to never deny him, but you, you also need to be careful with, with saying some things that might come back and bite you later. Because God takes your word seriously, too. I mean, if you say, I'm never going to do this and I'm never going to do that, be very careful with your words, right? Now, it's, there's, there's good things that you can say that about. I'm just saying, be careful saying when you just some make things. those oaths or just make those statements because your word is important. You know, I made, I made an oath and a promise. I told God, I'm never going to have another drop of alcohol again at one point in my life. And thank God I haven't you know, to this point, and I don't intend on it, which is why I said it out loud. That was one of those things. But, you know, you, if you're going to make statements, if you're going to say things, be very careful because you need to continue to take heed. Now, it would be easier, and it's easier for anybody. It's easier once you get further away from sin, you kind of feel like you've gotten a victory and that's done to start feeling like, you don't have to worry about it anymore and that and that you could get some false confidence and then making foolish decisions allowing yourself making more provision for the flesh than you ought to thinking oh man yeah i already got the victory so like like in in my example if i were to just feel like man i'm never going to drink again i vowed i'm never going to do it again i'm i've got this taken care of and then just feel like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just insert myself in some bad situations. I'm going to work for the cause of Christ, but I'm going to go out to these bars and I'm going to go inside and I'm going to sit down next to these guys and I'm going to give them the gospel. It's like, that's not a good idea. Right. And I'm not saying that's what Peter did here, but I'm just, just taking this concept of, you know, be real careful and taking heed of what we say and what we do and, and just letting ourselves get ahead of, uh, you know, too far emboldened than we ought to be.